the UN wants to get in the act of controlling the internet. The reason for this is simple. Money. When you have control over anything, you can tax, you can charge fees, you can regulate, you can assess fines, and it's all about money. Even our government, the U.S. government, wants to get in on the, the act of controlling the Internet. There is a bill, it's called S-773, which permits the President to seize temporary control of private sector networks on the Internet during a so-called cyber emergency. Well, what's a cyber emergency? Because MasterCard and Visa can't use their website? You know, there is no clear definition of what an emergency is. And it's subject to abuse by bureaucrats. These are some old coins and some money that I have for sale. Philippine notes, this is from World War II, German notes, more German, a whole bunch of Nazi notes, Italian, more Italian, Spanish, Norwegian, Italian, more Norwegian, quite a bit, Spanish, Chinese, and then I have a bunch of old postcards here in, in little packets. Winchester, Virginia, Skyline Drive, Detroit, oh, that's a hot place, Sweet Poconos, Endless Caverns, Virginia, Monticello, looks like someplace in California, yep, in Los Angeles, Alligator Farm, and of course now we have our funny money. So give me a call at 215-651-8329. We also have at Highland Hill Farm here a bunch of other things that we've collected. For example, fossils, minerals, rocks that we've collected from our These are our three foot green giants. They're in a, a number five squat pot. And these are our four foot green giants in our squat pot. Now we call these a three to four foot because they'll be over three foot tall to the top, but less than four foot. And these will all measure about four foot to the top or slightly taller on the four footers. The green giant is placed about five to eight feet apart in straight rows and you can make a staggered row for a large property. For a smaller property you would only want to have one single row. A single row is the easiest way to maintain these trees. And if you're going to put in a large number, say like you know, you're up in northern Pennsylvania and you're going to put in a hundred of them on a large lot, we do recommend that you put in our drip water system which I will show you in a few seconds. But these trees can grow upwards to three feet a year with our drip water system. They're very fast, they're deer resistant and wind resistant. The wind resistance comes from the fact and the snow load resistance comes from the fact that the tree can be bent right over to the ground almost and then it'll snap right back. And predominantly if they have if they have a double leader you do want to trim one leader out like this would be trimmed down so that one leader takes forward and, and uh, takes control. But usually they don't split apart in the winter at all. The emerald green does split apart and is a uh, weaker tree that only grows to 10 to 15 feet. These could grow to 40 feet. But if you trim them, you can keep them probably around 25 feet for quite a long time. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you.